Hey, Lifestyle Wellness Group. I am here with Sheldon, one of your coaches. He usually comes to you on Wednesday and has some amazing tips about the structure of our body, um, exercise, keeping us limber, keeping us in shape, rehabbing injuries. I don't know if you guys know, but Sheldon um, is an athletic trainer. He's a physical therapist. He's sports performance. He's worked with multiple professional athletes, and I wanted him to join me tonight as we go over this healthy habit challenge that we are going to be um, bringing to you guys on July 6th. Now, I don't know about you guys, but there's enough negativity in the world, and I just feel like everything's kind of heavy, and there's really a lot of things going on that we really cannot control. But the one thing we can control is we can control our habits every day. And we really want to focus on the positive, moving forward and establishing good habits, things that you can control. So this healthy habit challenge is going to be a lot of fun. And no one knows about habits more than Sheldon. So Sheldon, I want you to just jump on here and tell everybody you know, what's so important about forming some good habits. Thanks, Trish. Uh, really appreciate you having me on. And definitely, it's a, this is huge. And it's what a better time to have a challenge like this, uh, uh, especially just bringing some positive motivation. But habits are so important. And it's probably really the, the key to so many things that we do on a daily life, because it really dictates what happens throughout our life. And the, the subtle thing sometimes, uh, uh, whether we think it's a habit or not, that we tend to do over and over uh, really t it adds up and that's where I think a lot of times so many people fall short and especially since we're uh, we're talking on the topic of of health and fitness and how that relates to uh, staying physically active and so uh, you know from the the moment you you put your foot on the ground when you wake up to throughout the day you know every little thing that you do um, I think it's so so important to just you know just to be aware and being intentional you know our habits uh are, are definitely the, they're the driving force of of what we see in patterns throughout our lifetime uh, being as a physical therapist, performance coach, you're seeing the, the different patterns that people experience, whether it's from difficulty, maybe losing weight, maybe they're trying to regain range of motion and certain injury. Uh, you know, it's always us kind of going back and trying to get a good history on it. Well, what ends up happening is we learn the, maybe some of the habits or the patterns that they've, they've gone through throughout their life that's led up to that point. Uh, there's a, you know, there's a, a good uh, rule of thumb out there called the compound effect. And all these little habits that we do on a daily basis, even if they may seem small, can really uh, make a huge effect long term. And so uh, that's what's neat about this, that this challenge that you're offering and that we're all going to come together and, and uh, really just get the full spectrum from all different angles on this for the health and fitness challenge. But uh, on the habits in general, uh, this is, this is going to be a, something that you definitely want to plug into because when you understand the little things and you start to see, okay, maybe looking at it from a different angle, maybe what you're doing right now versus maybe some little habits that you can change on a daily basis. That's going to be uh, the, the missing, I'll call it the missing link. And uh, we, uh, basically it's uh, how to release from all the maybe negative things that you're experiencing on that, on your health and fitness journey. That's really going to probably be the, the answer to a lot of people. And that won't be the answer to everything, but I think in general, once you relate and uh, you compare maybe some of the habits you're doing now versus some of the, the new challenges that we're bringing into this, this, uh, this, uh, this habit challenge, then you're going to maybe be able to see like, okay, this is something I can attach on to. I can do that. That's simple. And that's going to actually make the, the compound effect, uh, the positive effect in my life the long term. Awesome. Thank you, Sheldon. So like Sheldon said, it's like little baby steps. It's kind of building on each other. So how this habit challenge is going to work and we're all, all the coaches here are going to take part in it. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to start next Monday, July 6th, and we're going to build. So the first week we're going to really concentrate on cardio get and these are things you can do at home guys you do not have to be part of a gym these are all things that you can do from your home so so the first week is going to be cardio getting out and moving your body getting that heart rate elevated so that you are increasing circulation and you are working out the most important muscle in our body is our heart so we need to do some cardio that's week one the second week, we're going to do some strength training. And this is going to be, you can do it at several different levels. Sheldon and Carla, I believe, are going to be making some at-home routines. So you guys can pick those routines, switch them up, um, and you're going to build. Each week, you're building another habit. So the first week is cardio. 
second week is strength training. The third week is going to be either yoga or some kind of stretching. Again, Sheldon's going to give us some stretches, a little stretching exercise routine. All of this is going to be about 20 minutes. So your cardio, 20 minutes, strength training, 20 minutes, stretching or yoga, 20 minutes. Um, so by the third week, now you've got an hour of exercise that you're getting into your, into your habit, into your routine. You're going to participate on it on Monday through Saturday, Sunday, give, a, give it a rest. And then the fourth week is going to now we're going to make some healthy food choices and we're going to add that to the regimen of that hour of exercise and some healthy food choices. Now, we're going to add this challenge and make it a little bit fun where we are going to be posting and engaging. So every morning we're going to come on there, we're going to make a post, we're going to share what we did for that day. And then at the end of the 30 days, we are going to see who participated the most and who was the most consistent. And we're going to award some really cool prizes for the people that participated. Um, everyone that participates will get a prize um, of some sort. And the ones that participate um, the most, they're gonna, of course, they're going to get a grand prize. So it's going to be a lot of fun. I cannot wait to jump in this because I know I need to form a habit of stretching. That's mine. So, Sheldon, please keep me accountable you got to it. My stretching. <laughs> I definitely need works on that. So, Sheldon, you want to add anything as we wrap this up? Yeah, really just uh, to plug in. I mean, that's the, the key thing here is, is you have so many amazing coaches in this group and, uh, you know, just spending, you know, years of, of, uh, of expertise, really. And that's where the key is, too, is, you know, you have – habits of okay what can I go and, and do these simple things to make changes really quick but you're also taking you're condensing time and that's a big part you know everyone's learned uh, you know whatever habit they're teaching or in the information of this challenge uh, that you really want to to latch on to because uh, again everyone's got their own expertise and we, all of us come in and, and provide something a little bit different we can learn from each other uh, so I would just say is uh, first thing is you know don't don't miss out on this take advantage of it you know, everyone's coming from a you know very strong background that's been doing this for years. So uh, it's not just thrown together. They're actually giving their educated opinion on why why we're doing this, and then also you know what's what's been uh, what's worked the best. So thanks again, Trish. I really appreciate you doing this. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. I can't wait till till next week. I think it is. I, we're all gonna enjoy the Fourth of July, and we're gonna probably eat things that we shouldn't and then we're going to be all motivated and ready to go for july 6th so you guys have a great week and if you have any questions um uh, below uh, you know ask them in the comments below and we can um figure it out for you and respond so you guys have a great night thanks sheldon thank you